It's been 20 years since I got to set up my first network. I remember that day, I was very excited. I was carrying my box of cables, I was carrying my RG45 connectors and the switch. And I really wanted to get things going. I was fortunate enough that I had two amazing gentlemen that mentored me throughout the entire process. They walked me through the process of connecting the cables, configuring the switch, configuring the PCs and getting everything else to talk to each other. But not everyone has that opportunity to have someone to walk them through their setup of their first network. In this video, I am going to be setting up my home network where I'm going to be connecting two computers. And I want to invite you to join me as I go along the way. And there are two reasons. Number one, practice is the best teacher. As you walk with me, you are going to gain the necessary practice and experience. And for those that have set up their networks before, this could probably act as a refresher. So before we go ahead, I want us to go to the whiteboard where I'm going to be walking you through the steps of what we're going to cover and what it is that we're going to require in order for us to complete this particular network. Let us look at what it is that we're going to cover in this video. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to physically connect our two devices. And then we are going to verify that the lights have come on on the switch. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of switch you basically use. You might have a Cisco switch, you might have a Netgear switch, or you might have one that has been provided by your internet service provider. As long as it has enough ports for you to connect your devices, uh, that is good enough. Step three, we're basically going to configure our IP address. And in my environment, I'm going to be using 192.168.0.5 for PCA and 192.168.0.33 for PCB. And after we have configured our IP address, we are going to verify connectivity to our devices. So this is the lab that we're going to be working with. So I'm going to walk you through my home lab. Um, so at the moment, I've got a, a laptop. I'm just going to press this. So this is the first laptop. Uh, this is the network cable that is connected. That network cable is coming and connecting to my home router. And that is on port number one. And that is the first light that you're seeing. So that is connected to port number one. And then I have my laptop, which is the one that I'm recording using. This is the network cable that's connected via my USB. And that basically comes at the back of my modem. You should see a black cable. And that is coming in on port number four. Sorry, port number three. Okay, yeah, so that's connected to port number three. So we have basically verified the connectivity of the devices on the network. Now, this is a very important step because if, you, if you're not able to see the lights coming on on your switch, it basically signifies that the physical connectivity between the device and the network switch is either not working, either the device is not connected, the network card is disconnected, or there's something wrong with the network cable. Now that we have confirmed our network connectivity on the physical side, the next step is to configure our IP address. Now I am using Windows 10, and there are many ways of getting to the network settings. I'm going to use control panel, and in control panel, we're going to go to network and sharing center, and then we're going to go to change adapter settings. Uh, and in there, we're going to find our ethernet adapter. I see my laptop is connected to my home wireless network, so I'm just going to disconnect that so that we can be able to test. Right, so if I right click on my network settings, I should be able to go to properties and inside properties, we're going to go to TCP IP V4 and then we're going to go to properties. So by default, it is set to get an address from the DHCP server. But in this case, we're going to manually configure an IP address. So you click on use the following IP address and our IP address is 192.168.0.33. And we're going to be using a subnet mask of slash 24. In our case, we don't need a default gateway. So I'm going to go and click OK. And then I'm going to click Close. 
All right, so now we've configured our IP address and that leads us to the final step, which is step number four. We need to verify the connectivity between our device and the other laptop in my home lab. But I want you to train yourself on this particular step before you make an attempt to try and connect to another device. Try and verify that on your device, the configuration of the IP address is correct, number one. Number two, the TCP IP suite is working. And these are the two ways that you can be able to test. Uh, I'm going to go to start, and then I'm gonna type CMD and press enter. This is the command prompt on a Windows machine. So I always like starting by verifying my IP address. So I'm gonna check by typing the command IP config and I'm gonna press enter. And I have quite a number of virtual adapters on my PC. So just let's just ignore most of them. Let's look for ethernet three, right? This one is the one that we interested in. And we can see that our IP address is 192.168.0.33. So our IP address has been configured correctly. Now the next step that I would do, I would ping my own IP address. This is just to confirm that the TCP IP suite is working correctly on my laptop and I'm getting a reply. So that confirms that everything else is working fine. The other IP address that you can ping is one that is known as a loopback address and the IP address is 127.0.0.1. It also verifies and confirms that your TCP IP suite is working correctly. Now, this is something that you're not going to find much on Windows 10 machines, but this was a common occurrence in Windows 98, 95. The suite used to get corrupt and you needed to just test by verifying. Let us ping our device on the network and see if we're able to reach it. And the IP address is 192.168.0.5. And we basically getting a reply from the other device. So the ping utility, for those that don't know, it is basically a utility that verifies connectivity between two devices. When you get a reply, it basically confirms that packets are going and coming back. And it's one of the tools that we use in the network industry to be able to help us as we basically troubleshoot. So as we conclude, let us recap what we basically covered. We connected our network cable to our devices. We connected the network cables onto the switch. We verified that the lights turned on. We went ahead and configured our IP address and we closed off by verifying that our devices were talking on the network. Now this might seem like a simple network, but the fundamentals and principles are the same throughout. In the next video, I'm going to be creating a network cable from scratch and I'm going to be terminating it with an RG45 and using a cable tester to verify that the cable is working. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.